And welcome to Geek Owls SA, episode 76. Wow, 76, and uh, we have Big Homie back in the house. How's it going, Big Homie? Good, about yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it's been a good year so far. Pretty good. I haven't seen you since last year. I know. No, I don't know. It actually has been a while since I've since we've actually got to sit together and talk. <laughs> well, tell us a little. You you went off to New York and got to take in a few things out there. Yeah, I went to New York. Uh, I was there for five days. A lot of places. Uh, went to Manhattan, Queens, Fleshy Meadows, Coney Island. Went to a lot of places. Statue of Liberty, Ghostbusters house. I can't name them all right now, but. By the time I finish naming them all, before I'd be off the air. Already, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. Uh, you passed by Ghostbusters Firehouse? Yeah. Cool. How yeah. was that? It was good until I saw Slimer in my rear view mirror and <laughs> I was supposed to leave. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But uh, no, it was, uh, it was kind of, I gotta be honest with you, I was actually a bit emotional because, uh, you know, everybody's dream. You know, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, you know, you want to go to that fire station where they filmed it all. Fleshy Meadows, Coney Island. And, uh, I'm sorry, I thought I heard a ghost right now. I'm freaking out. <laughs> that slimer followed me. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, uh, when we got there, you know, it was, it was yeah. real. You know, you watching, uh, you know, Ghostbusters, you see the firehouse, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're there in person. Mm-hmm. The exact same fire station. Cool. How was that? Those guys got chills, you know, because you're there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, of course, unfortunately, you know, we couldn't leave it away. We, couldn't, we wouldn't go in there in the first place because we were actually, we actually renovating the place. Yeah. Oh, there was nobody there, so. But other than that, you know, everybody's dream. It was great, you know, to finally, you know, especially the movie was released in, what, 84? Around yeah. There? And <laughs> 30 years later. <laughs> well, did you know if they were going to be, like, shooting anything there? At any time for that, that one? That, I don't know. I kind of doubt that because, I mean, I've been hearing, you know, speculation that there was maybe a Ghostbusters dream mm-hmm. got there, you know, but that actually fell apart, what I've been reading these sources because uh, I remember Bill Murray was saying that it won't be the same without Harold Ramis and no Egon. Mm-hmm. Somebody replacing him. Right. Even though there was bits of speculation saying that Jonah Hill should be the part, but then again, you know, they said that, that you know, you one person can play that one role. Yeah. That's good. That they're really good at. And that's uh, yeah. Harold Ramis. There was nobody there. Uh, of course, Dan Aykroyd would have been down. And yeah, actually, I, I remember going back to Comic Con. You know, actually, actually did ask a brief question to uh, uh, Ernie Hudson. Uh huh. <laughs> years later. Well, did you know there was three? But for him, like, you know, shooting anything there at any time for that. Mm-hmm. No, nobody didn't. I don't know. I kind of doubt that because I mean, Bruce Price is wrong with the speculation that was and the Ghostbusters is what it is. It's best, you know, just to have two Ghostbusters. Whatever one is because what? Yeah, I heard they're going for like an all-girl cast or they were or something like that. That I did not hear. Yeah, because I know Bill Murray didn't want to do it just because how he thought second one was so bad. And uh, of course, I went to MIB headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, well, it's not really MIB headquarters, it's some federal building mm-hmm. where they film Men in Black for MIB headquarters. Nice. Uh, that battery park. Fortunately, it was, it was closed because it was a when I passed by there. Uh, but it makes sense, you know, if you're wearing a Spurs mask, Spurs are called Men in Black. So, I wanted to take a picture with the Spurs mask right in front of a, I wanted to call it MIB headquarters. <laughs> Did you happen to make it out there? To, I know the Spurs were up there getting uh, getting some uh, play over there at D.C. Uh, did you want to go, or did you go? No, I wanted to, because I remember when the Spurs were actually were in New York, uh, they were there a week before I arrived. <laughs> Because they were in Brooklyn, and uh, I, know I did go see a uh, New York Knicks game. <laughs> but um, I was surprised, you know, when I when I was there, you know, I ran into a lot of Spurs fans, mm-hmm. especially in Coney Island. And Coney Island, the ghost town. I felt like I was in the middle of that movie, uh, uh, Zombieland. Uh-huh. As you know, the carnival is just so abandoned. 
Nobody there. It's just peaceful. There's only like about five or six people there in the beach. We got there, you know, you look around, you look at Coney Island. There's everybody. <laughs> and, um, but then again, you know, they were saying that the carnival was closed at Labor Day weekend. It's a seasonal thing, so it's more open until Memorial weekend. So, other than that, you know, <laughs> Did you have to make it pretty good? It's pretty good. Oh, uh, what I've been hearing lately, uh, well, what's happening next? Pax out. It's going to be downtown. So it's going to be the 23rd, the 24th, and then the 25th. Pax out. Yeah, well, that's that's the other thing. That's the video when I cue that up. But uh, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you. But yeah, no, Pax Out is uh, Penny Arcade Expo, and um, that was it was like a. Um, it's all about like gaming, uh, and it's not just uh, video games. It's also tabletop games. So you go there and get to see all uh, a lot of the new stuff. That you would never really get to see. There's like a PAX East and then uh, PAX West, or I think that's just PAX or something like that. So, uh, yeah, no, it's something that's come, this was, was the first time it's come to uh, San Antonio, and uh, it, we actually won this over Austin. So, uh, it's supposed to be huge. All the weekend passes are sold out. If you're going to go in, you have to get, like, day passes. The last minute passes. <laughs> I guess that answers my question. It's too late for me. Why aren't they, like, sold out even the Saturday passes? Saturday? Everybody's out on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> so those are, like, all out. You can't even get in Saturday if you don't have a ticket that's, already. That's the other thing. And Friday and Sunday, last I checked. Yeah, <laughs> call the turtles. I, I, we were trying to uh, go out there, but you need like fifty thousand viewers on YouTube in order to do that. What? We need to get that. <laughs> we need more than that. We need a hundred thousand. We'll get there and get to see all the hacks into it. Hey, there you go. You got fifty thousand viewers in five seconds. <laughs> what it's all about? Uh, oh, not like a butt ass. Would you? Uh, who would you like to see cast as a new Ghostbuster? As the new Ghostbuster. First time it's come. Uh, like a remake? Uh, yeah. As With a different, remake. different and, uh, Ghostbuster cast. Different cast. Hmm. If I would have had somebody play Egon, I would go with Jonah Hill. Uh, Winston. Um, <laughs> I guess that answers my a tough one. I'll go with Kevin Hart. Why like sold out even Kevin Hart as Winston? Mm -hmm. Um, Ray. Wow. So those are who was Ray? Because you had the first part one. I'm gonna have to go with James Franco with the uh, Oscar uh, kills and Spider Man. Mm -hmm. I will go with James Franco. Nice. <laughs> I know. A pineapple Express thing. Go out there. And for well, apparently in that one he never he's never actually done that. Oh yeah, it's true though. But you know it's it kind of, it's it's in his filmography, so that's something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, numerous movies. You know, that he's done stuff like that. Uh, and then Peter, I have to go with. I have to throw this out there. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go vice versa. I'm going to go with James Franco as a uh, Peter, and I'm going to go with Elijah Wood as Ray because Elijah Wood is more of a geek version, especially if you look at Willard, if you look at uh, the faculty, you know, he's like a little nerd in the movie. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'll go with Elijah Wood as Ray. <laughs> Going with a hobbit. And and a hobbit yeah. Ray. Sorry the cast isn't taller, but that's the best <laughs> I could, that's the best I could pop in my head. <laughs> well it's amazing how you look at, at some uh some movie stars out there that you think they're a lot taller than they actually are. Uh like we're 
we're talking about movies, so let's talk about uh, Robert Downey Jr. He's very short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back to go a little younger. That's why you don't make that cast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, Robert Downey Jr., yeah. But if I were, if, I will use Robert... If we were to use Robert Downey Jr. in the Ghostbusters, I will use James Franco. With, uh, okay. uh, think about it, you know, the late, great Robin Williams, you know, given his comedy roles, but in Insomnia... A villain that came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So you never know. Robert Robert Downey Jr. could be a villain in Ghost Well, apparently in that one he knew. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. So yeah. Um, oh, that's true though. But you know, it's, we got off a big topic, but uh, so that's yeah. But how did we get from there? <laughs> from Pax to that? I that no drew me idea. for a loop. Peter. Oh, the question. Oh, back to Pax. So. uh yeah, it's something that I need to, I may, uh, we have some friends coming in from Dallas, and uh, they're coming here to, to go there on Friday, so maybe I might make it out there next Friday, I don't know. Anything could happen. Could happen. Yeah, if, uh, I'll, I'll let you know, maybe we can uh, go together and make out there. You could make it to PAX, anything could happen, oh yes. Oh, sorry, the cast isn't taller. But sorry, I'm getting to that Star Wars <laughs> my head. I have a lot of Star Wars stuff here. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really spoiling it. Some, uh, see, Han? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was Darth Vader. I saw Darth Vader's no. picture right there. So I'm I'm sorry, folks. I'm more into the villains, so I apologize. Darth Vader. I like I like uh, the Sith uh, lightsabers. They're a lot. Cooler, a lot oh, more yeah. ornate than uh, Jedi sa- Saber. Yeah, back to go for younger. That's why you know, are cast. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, you got split. All right, I mean, it'd be a spoiler, folks. If you haven't seen that, especially you know the But you should have. But you should have. Oh. I actually cried in that movie. Uh, that happened. Just like Dark Vader by you know Robert Williams. You know, no tissue. I mean, bro, but, uh, <laughs> So, you have uh, an announcement today to tell us what's what's going on here with yes. you. What, what is going on with you? I do. Well, just let you know I am normal, because the way he just yeah. asked me that question, I just got out of the hospital. <laughs> but, um, yes, I am going to make an announcement that this year... I will be I playing the role oh, of the Alamo City Comic Con oh, so, mascot, uh, Alamo City Man. That uh, thanks to Apple De La Fuente, uh, we were in discussions yeah, about having or well, bringing Alamo City Man to life at the role. So uh, this year, folks, I will be seeing Alamo City Man saving the day in San Antonio. See, so you got the yeah, and you got you got the uh, yellow. Su- you're gonna get the yellow suit, the yellow mask, and the cape, right? Yeah, everything. It's gonna be the mask. It's gonna be the suit. It's gonna be the boxing gloves. It's gonna be everything. What you see on the Alamo City Comic Con logo, you're gonna see that guy come by. So what's Alamo City's man? Uh, Alamo City man. I have a lot of horror stuff here. The superpower. <laughs> Sorry, it might be Mexican food, but I don't know yet. I should have discussed that with, uh, with Apple. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm but yeah, I'm really excited about playing this role. Uh, oh. I guess maybe it's been a dream, you know, for Apple, you know, to bring this character to life. And uh, really awesome that they are almost city man. It's really interesting. Not just for Comic Con, but for other occasions. Some other stuff that <laughs> Apple's gonna do with Alamo City Man, you know, foreseeable features. So, uh, it'd be a spoiler, folks. If you guys so, with your mask, is it any different than the design that you have? Yes, it's gonna be exactly like the design. Like mm-hmm. What you see picture on the wall, that's what's gonna be. Like. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. I'm really, I'm really excited about it. I mean, ever since I, ever since me and Apple discussed this, you know, I've been having sleep this night. So it's like I'm just really anxious for that costume to hurry be made. As a matter of fact, you know, uh, like I said, March is the month. I just don't know what day yet. But March is the month that uh, Alamo City Man will make his debut. Just don't know where, uh, don't know where yet. But uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm excited about it. 
cool. We definitely can't wait to check that out. Maybe you can show us on the show and oh yeah that's that's gonna be uh that's one of my plans so <laughs> i just you know i was afraid to ask him i was nervous and, you know he runs this show every time i'm here at the roll really nervous <laughs> really really nervous i'm not giving you a clue folks but uh uh, this could be me. You, I mean, you got might not be nervous, yellow, but... You're gonna get the yellow suit, the yellow mask. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, folks. It's gonna be the mask. It's gonna be the suit. It's gonna be the very cool, very cool. Oh, everything. What you see on the Alamo City. Where did you find that guy come from? The what's Alamo City? Where did I find my mask? Which one? Or the one that you're wearing now? Where did I find it? <laughs> yeah. The one up there. Where did you get it, or what did I do wrong? Yeah. Why well, are curious? Okay, now really. Um, they want to know your secret identity, maybe. Oh, let me take out my driver's license. Like it would be hard. Well, let me take out my driver's license, then. I put my license right in front of the camera. No, but uh, I have a friend out in uh, Los Angeles, California. Uh, he owns this uh, company called Mascarades La Luchadores, but for other and. Um, He's the guy I come to. Like, I used to make them, but now since I'm busy, you know, I never have the time, so I do have a backup plan. Uh, I got a friend out there in Los Angeles. Uh, his name is Baco. Uh, he's not a gangster, but uh, he's the guy I come to, and he's the one that makes all wrestling masks and wrestling gear for actual luchadors out in the country. So, uh, you know, I was fortunate to run into him. Uh, he's the one that makes mask and other sports teams that I like, but it's not just for sports teams. I do for uh, like I, I got one for 90.5 the beat. I got one for uh for 99.5 kids. Um, I'm making some more for some other people, especially kids too. So there's a lot of masks that you know I got coming, especially for breast cancer charities or anything that's something to do with the community. So when are we gonna see the geek out and say it's a work in progress? Yes, I probably you know you're probably gonna be. Like, darn it. Show us on the show. But I am currently in the process of making a Geek Out essay, but I probably won't oh, yeah, that's, reveal that until the next uh, on the con. But maybe sooner. I don't know yet. I mean, I'm taking one step at a time. But, uh, yeah, that's where, uh, where I get them. If I need masks, let me know. I can't give out my number, though, because the majority of the calls that I get are private numbers. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. Now, uh, any current movies? What movies have you been watching lately? Uh, well, you just you were just talking about one earlier. <laughs> the one we were talking before. <laughs> before the show. I was only here like what fifteen minutes of the show. Very cool. No, uh, well, recently the movies I've been seeing. Of course, my last movie of two thousand fourteen, I saw Night at the Museum. And that was in uh, New York. Uh, I saw it at the at an AMC theater in New York. Which one? Uh, that movie was okay. You know, I got emotional. You know, because it was Robert Williams' last uh, last movie. But um, the movie was okay. Uh, it could have been better. It wasn't that much laughs. Uh, but you know, it's a good story. I, I I give it like a two and a half. Four. And of course, this year I saw two movies already. One, and I put my life not been released. Uh, but, uh, the first movie I saw was Taken 3. Uh, wow, that movie was really good. But if I want to take it to the top three of the Taken movies, this will be the number two. Cool. And, uh, and now, which one, uh, for Taken, which one did you like the best? And, like, the least? Uh, Taken, the first Taken was, you know, it started all off. So the first, that's going to be number one. Of course, the last one will be Taken. Uh, it started off slow, but the, the only, I mean, the movie was good, but the only thing I got complaints about the movie was too short. Because it was kind of short. Yeah, it was like an hour and 25 minutes long. This Taken 3 movie was nearly two hours. I was fortunate. So, uh, but it was a lot of action. Uh, it was kind of funny. Uh, quite a few emotions in that movie. That I like. but, cause I can't tell you why. But I'm pretty sure you get the picture on the trailer. But uh, it was a good movie. I really enjoyed it. But this next movie I'm going to talk about, 
everybody's going to talk about it this morning. Uh, uh, but I actually did see the news that uh, it's not bad, but uh, you know, I got a food they got out of that. I don't say nothing cancer charity, but uh, <laughs> I saw American Sniper. Do with the community, so. Wow. Oh, yeah. Day, I, I saw the, uh, the trailer for that uh, last night. Yeah. American Sniper, everybody got yeah, have to see that movie. I don't care if you're not into war movies or not, but this movie is really good. Um, and I'm about to go over the scale on this movie. Um, Ten star movie out of my four out of four star movie. But, uh, um, <laughs> this movie was really good, and if I was the committee for the Oscars, I would just basically just hand in the best actor award to Bradley Cooper because Bradley Cooper played his role right on the money. Because I actually did a research on just how you know. Current movies, what movie? Like just as my writing, you know, it was not during school, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way he played well, this character, especially watching Chris Kyle's him. interview before he was uh, assassinated, um, <laughs> before. and he uh, played before a perfect the role as Chris Kyle, and especially the way they did all the makeup on him. Uh, well, you know, recently, uh, Bradley Cooper grew that beard, mm-hmm. you know, it was just right on the money. The, the way he made that beard in his face, that movie was, uh, it is a must see. And apparently he has this like a southern accent. Yes, he does. And if you close your eyes, you can't tell it's him just like when he, I, there's very few points in like Guardians of the Galaxy where I think Rocket Raccoon Bradley Cooper. I could have recognized his voice. <laughs> I could have recognized his voice. I mean, I knew it was him. A couple like, places that you can kind of pick out his voice, but you have to be listening for it. Yeah, I tried to listen to it, especially I had it surround sound, uh, but uh, I just I saw it was taken on like three. Bradley Cooper? Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, voice? it didn't sound, it <laughs> did an awesome voice for Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, number two. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, I saw that movie during the holidays too, but at home, Redbox. Redbox. But talking about an, uh, a uh, Marvel movie, we do have a trailer that we can go ahead and queue up now. I know what it is. This vulnerable world needs something more powerful than any of us. Everyone creates the thing they dread. Ultron in the flesh. No matter who wins or loses, trouble always comes around. You meddle with something you don't understand. We have no place in the world. Yeah, that was uh, the next trailer, uh, the the second trailer for uh, Avengers 2. So, you liked it? I liked it. They kind of show more of a, not necessarily like an uh, upside to it. They look kind of show like sadness in there. So, a little little down, but it looks really, really, they show more of the, um, more of the Hulkbuster uh, Iron Man suit. So, what, what do you think about Avengers 2? 
When I saw that movie, uh, not the movie itself, but when I saw the trailer, excuse me, folks, when it get bootleg. But when I saw the trailer of that movie, I actually got chills. Chills watching that trailer because um, yes, he does. So just by watching it, it seemed like it was the end of the world. The way they made it, the way they made it, you know, it's like, wow, could this be the end of the uh, the Avengers? But you know, towards the end of the trailer, you know, it just brought more excitement, like this something that it could be the end of a, a certain superhero. And I can't, like myself, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see. Uh, and there's a long list of uh, blockbuster movies that are coming out this summer, yeah, but Avengers is far out the number one movie that I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah. Or better than, you're probably gonna, not going to forgive me for this, but better than the Fast and the Furious 7. Did an awesome so, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, well, no, we all are. <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving like a little rant yeah, yeah. on like, you know, what to, to see for the movie. Yeah, I mean, right now, the Marvel movie has got to be the best action movie out there. Uh, any Marvel movie that they're making now is going to be, what's it? See, now it feels like this is just me, though. It feels like it's getting to that point that most of these Marvel movies are coming to the end. Uh, either, either if it's Spider-Man, Avengers, and something more powerful than any of the Batman movies are complete. I don't see Christopher Nolan making another Batman movie. I've been hearing conflicting reports that the Netflix going to be Batman, but it's not really. It's going to be Batman versus Batman, or if it's, it's for Batman. Right, not really Batman, Batman, Batman versus Batman. Superman. But for a solo run, Who's going to end up doing that is uh, is um, Guardian Knights. <laughs> Since that's Apple's invention as Guardian Knight comics. Yeah. <laughs> well, Apple did a pretty good job on that. I'm pretty sure he's really astounded, you know, at Alamo City and Aiken. This could be really cool, you know. Well, way you see the Apple City Man and chills. You know, me and Apple, you know, we're gonna discuss on how to create a storyline for Alamo City. Yes, you know, not to do like shows or anything. I'm watching it, it seemed like it makes his appearances, you know. Alamo City Man the way they storyline. The way they made it, uh wow. uses the Genesis, you know, What's a superpower? <laughs> the superpower that's still gonna have to figure out. It's probably still the boxing gloves on. Probably put some Tabasco sauce on it. <laughs> he's got to have some kind of special <laughs> move. Well, all I could say is I got to hit the gym. <laughs> I got to hit the gym big time. I'm expecting big things with Alamo City, man. Whether I'm him or not, I'm expecting big things with him. Or better. 
and uh, whether it might, uh, if I'm responsible for beating him, you know, uh, with the gym really hard and <laughs> do something because you never know if uh, the way, yeah, like, city man might uh, do some short films. And, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> right nice. Now. So uh, that will be, you know, really interesting. You might show up here, uh, here in a uh, film or something. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool, but you know, you never know, anything could happen. Right now, I mean, being out there, you know, it's just a start. I'm really excited about it. And unlike the book, says Andrew Garfield is what is the new Spider Man. Well, Andrew Garfield was Spider Man. But, uh, I don't know, well, they got rid of, uh, Sony got rid of Andrew Garfield. I he was uh, support that. I want to say the word on light, uh, light uh, panel here, but he really bugged me on the social networks. Oh, yeah. He was in the social networks. He was uh, Mark's best friend in that. Oh, okay. A solo in Mark's But I, I dug him as Spider Man and Peter Parker. I think he, he brought. Both of those characters uh, better than Spider Man. Get to that that remake. Well, for me, I'm not to say Toby Wire. The reason why he was a good Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a good Spider Man, but I don't think he was as a con as convincing Peter Parker as Andrew Garfield. Who was the shy one? Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Dark more. Doc version. I don't know. So, what are some other things that uh, are going to be going on out there? Because they're going to so Do you have any new plans? Uh, Gonna be in any new movies? Um, working on seeing a couple of movies soon. Of course, like I said, I'm gonna see American Sniper again. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'm gonna probably not just rate movies. I'm probably gonna bring up some movie trailers that that people don't know much about. Of course, um, uh, is Chapter Three. I'm actually looking forward to that film. That movie's not coming until March, though. But uh, Insidious Chapter 3, I'm actually excited about this one. Mm -hmm. Because when I saw the second one, it actually put me to sleep. It actually put me to sleep. If y'all disagree with me, then I'm sorry. But this movie did not scare me at all. But the reason why I was disappointed, because the demon that they had in the first movie was actually back in the third one. That's why I mean, I'm really excited about that one. Um, and of course, if y'all Paranormal Activity fans out there, there's another one coming out too. Uh, that one's supposed to be released in June, but I think they said they're gonna push it back to actually October. No, I, I stopped watching. <laughs> they got well, Apple did a pretty big job. Two out there. They weren't good enough. First two I like, but after I like the first two, but after that I didn't like anything. Well, like for me, the reason why I didn't like it is because, uh, like the first two, they make the the way they make the ghosts in that movie make it look realistic, like you're actually watching an actual footage. You know, we're gonna discuss what's going on in a haunted house. This one now they're getting, it's getting to that point that they're putting computer effects. Makes it appear third one on out. Like the fifth one, actually, no, the Mark ones, it was not that bad. It was not that bad. It scared me a little bit, but still, I wasn't too wow about it. Uh, the sixth one, I'm probably gonna just go ahead. I was, might as well just call Hollywood and say just put it straight to DC. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what I looked at so far uh, for upcoming movies. I, know I might be missing some of them. Or I'll put my head somewhere. It's still early, 2015, January. Very cool, very cool. Well, uh, no, well, thanks for coming in. Uh, it's really good to see you. We got to get back into the groove of things. And oh yeah. 
Shame being on, on the like show. <laughs> Shame on well, me. I, I mean, we took we took a hiatus for the holidays, <laughs> and, <laughs> as did you. So. What did the, the even the video say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. last <laughs> cool. show we did was last week, and that was the first show of the year. And then we hadn't done one in, like, November. Well, the progress will get better. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Uh, You're actually missing out on a uh, Spurs game. And you be on the show. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right, that's, that's just how, that just shows how bad I miss y'all. As a matter of fact, I could probably look at the score right now. I'm pretty sure we won the game. And who, who are they playing? They were playing the Charlotte Hornets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and... By looking at my phone, the Spurs did. Uh, my phone is slow. Well, it's not slow, but you know, all these chapter pages. The Spurs won 98 93. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I will be at the game Friday, though. I ended up. But yeah, you got. We're gonna be good. Uh, this year is gonna be better for our show. So tune in every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of the new uh, face we have? I love it. It has that Wayne's World feel. You know, when you're in the garage. We're in the basement. Yeah, we're in the basement, and uh, it has that Wayne's World feel. I like it. I think it's best to do it here. So uh, we don't need to go anywhere else. This is the spot. It was a good spot. <laughs> Well, yeah, again, thank you for coming in. Uh, I'm Vince. Big homie. Geek out, I say. Who was the shy one? Dark Zone.